Welcome back to Dawn of Man. So in the last episode we reorganized the village so we have this uniform nice little square of tents and we have two storage tents now and we have a crafter here which should be set to producing more things than just this. Yes, a good thing that I actually picked this one now. There we go. Um, we also finished our little, or at least this is the what it's going to look like now. We're of course going to have more of these. Little skull graveyard area. We got some more totems and moved around the food dryers to prepare for a wall around our city. And so forth. And so forth. Also we had a few people dying and of course we had the unfortunate incident with all the dogs getting this disease. So hopefully we'll get new dogs. They seem to have been doing some cleaning up. Not sure when that happened, but uh, I, I definitely uh, uh, like that they did clean up. This building is out of line, so I might have to move it again. But let's just leave it there for now. This one is also out of the kind of structure I like, but I don't think I'm going to bother moving everything around. It'll be fine, as Catherine used to say. Oh, we got a new dog! Yay! So we are still waiting for the knowledge points. Um, we did make the, the mortar. We could make a haystack to uh, have some... Gun. Gee, there we go, haystack. We can build that here to gather up the straw. And I guess we should make a collection area for stuff over here as well. Fall. Guess we can manually tell them to collect the barley. Emmer, no idea what that is. Einkorn. Over here we have some more barley and some rye. There we go. I think we should cut down that oak. Quite 10 straw, so we can unlock. Yes, we can unlock uh, pulse processing. I don't think we can do much with it, but uh, required for serial domestication, which is a technology that we get in the next era. We just need sledge making and stone polishing now, and we are ready to proceed to the Neolithic era. instead of tents. Oh, there's a field of rye there that we can come gather up. They're even making bread. How nice. There is a little field of rye. 
We're obtaining flint up there. I think we can happily cut down some more wood preparing for the Neolithic area where we're going to have to build a palisade because raiders are going to start to visit us when we get to the uh, Neolithic era. So I think we get animal domestication, which is going to be quite useful in terms of uh, not having to be so reliant upon hunting anymore. Trader has arrived. Commission average. But you don't really sell anything I need. So I guess that means, well, we can buy some pulses, I suppose. Um, let's pay with a few wooden spears and some logs. Here we go. Oh, oh indeed. I don't really know what pulses are, but I assume that there's some kind of bean or pea or something. New human was born. Bungal. Boy. Going to get sticks. Good. I think we can just chop down all the trees in this area. And this, I think, we'll just remove. Okay, so we need to make a new area for obtaining flint. Down here seems nice with two little flint deposits. Not that there's much flint in each deposit, but uh, at some point we probably need to look out for these um, larger flint deposits, like this one over here. That's 15 and can also be built a mine upon top of it. And we also got more humans for our settlement, which is excellent. We're doing very well on welfare this time. Guess we can build some more tents to make the village attractive for possible new tenants. Not tenants, but tenants, yes. There we go. Chop this oak down. I'd say we have enough sticks and logs for a while. <laughs> We could use a few more of these uh, festive totems. Cave lion attack. Right. Everyone. Everyone here. Go attack the lion. You can go back to the village. Perfect.
Collect wild plants, collect tannin. Can I move this thing to an area where we actually get enough tannins? Before five. That looks good. Which means we can cut down these trees as well. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to build more festive totems. Six points. We need one more point for our next technology. Oh, they're automatically repairing their tents. This is good. Ah, there's another flint deposit as well. And here is one. There's a copper deposit. And there's an ibex. I think we should tell a few people to go hunt that one. We also have these uh, very nice megalith deposits outside of the village, which means we can build a uh, Megalith structures like perhaps a small Stonehenge or something. Survive the winter, which means we have enough. Oh, ancient bison. Um, it's kind of far away, but if we send enough people. Storm again. Let's take the. Uh, Sludge making. We can build some sledges. Shift click to place multiple. It's good. Let's make six of them. First animal hunted, ancient bison knowledge one. Perfect. I think I saw a gang of bears over here. Yep. Or rocks. They are actually doing their job. Not bad. Hundred raw skin, perfect. Hundred curled meat. Trader has arrived. We're selling dry skin. That's something that I'm going to take advantage of. Other than that, doesn't really look all that lucrative. Um, we can sell some wooden spears and some wooden harpoons. And a piece of block. And there we go. Thank you.
I'd say that if you're looking for a relaxing, also very entertaining game, with a builder aspect, I very much recommend this game. It is very soothing and relaxing to play. Not sure how much of a stress factor the raiders are, but when I played my solo game up into the uh, Neolithic era and the raiders started, they only came in groups of three, so they weren't really that much of a problem for me. That might change when you come into the Copper and Bronze and Iron Age, though, because according to the tooltips of the game, they, the raiders do have the technology of the age your village is within. So I guess that's why you unlock them with actually the technologies that gives you the appropriate weapon of the age. Composite bow. Nice. Six knowledge for having built five sledges. Or rather one knowledge for it, but we have six knowledge now and why? I think we can remove that one. Do group resources. We could also put up another work area for uh, fishing. So, also think that I would like to increase the limitation of how much water we have in the village to forty instead of twenty. What seems to be the luck? Yep, dry skin. I thought as much. Is there anything we can hunt nearby? I guess it's just easier to go into that mode. I'm not about to go hunting a gang of cave lions. That's not ideal. As a matter of fact, the... Well, there's a group of mouflons in here, but how far away is this from the village? It's through a gang of mountain lions. Huh. And here we have a gang of mountain lions or cave lions and ancient bison, which definitely are going to fight back. Which definitely isn't ideal. There's no lake area. This isn't helpful at all. Ugh. Not too happy with the situation here. A lone wolf. That's not going to help us much either. Ah, here we go. Oh god, these are horses. That's... Now I'm lost. I have no idea where we are at the moment. Ah, we are that far away. Right. Aha. Uh -huh. Lots of horses and reindeers. But I'm guessing we really don't have much of a choice. Um, because we do need skins. This will be quite the trek for the people. Um, some might even starve because of the 
distances out here because the animals are going to run as well when we attack them. Hmm. That one, since it's at five health. And there is another one here that is damaged as well. Cave line. Lots of hunters coming from the village. another knowledge point so we can unlock stone polishing which gives us the ability to smelt copper and now we need 15 points for the next stage seem to be doing a rather good job of hunting out here. Oh, well, that's good at least. You're thirsty though. The cave lion just seems to wander around like nothing's wrong. Never mind the fact that there's some um, tasty to eat beside you. Ah, you had the good sense to go drink. Good. How did you even know that I tagged you for hunting? Tin or? Oh. Lots of raw skin lying around out there. Guessing we could speed up to 8x. Probably also should consider building a few more um, drying racks. The human was born. We got three knowledge for reaching 25 population. Excellent. Got three more people joining the settlement as well, which is great. Oh. dry skin we are at seven out of fifteen built five totems so we have eight of fifteen getting there only but steadily Bone harpoons, nine. Oh, we should make sickles and knives as well. Not sure about the leather outfits though. I like that they have style as a <laughs> criteria on these things.
Seems strange to me that the leather outfit actually is seems to be worse than the basic skin outfit. Room for 54 people. Trader has arrived. Welcome. Sell leather. And that's basically the only thing you sell with any kind of use for us. 46. Let's give you the slings. Suppose you can get some uh, wooden spears and harpoons. One of these and a log. That seems rather reasonable. Obviously, he thought the same. Some of your people have no warm clothing. Right, so I actually might have to make them leather outfits whether I want to or not. Especially since we're after the half point of... Cool. Um, right, that one is over. So I guess we'll set a new one over here. There's a gang of beers. Can I? Yes, I can. You guys go and hunt these bears. decided to move along farther away. Look how they sneak up. This guy is getting critical on food and this one is going critical on sleep though. So, yeah. Can harvest these. Twelve out of fifteen. Hunger has died of old age. I think I have enough clothing now. Question is, does the leather outfits actually count as warm enough? No, they don't. Like these sleds or sledges. Ok, 
gives them the option to carry a lot more at once. You're freezing, aren't you? Yep. Well, I guess that we should do the uh, error advancement in the next episode because we have reached the 30 minute mark, so um, this is a good... Oh, well, well, I suppose that works, but I'll still do it in the next episode. So thank you all for joining me and see you all next time.